Hello golfers, welcome to another edition of the Swing Report. Today we are breaking down the TaylorMade P790 irons. If you'd like to hear our final thoughts recapping these irons, just skip to the final chapter of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And without further ado, the TaylorMade P790s. While they say where there's smoke, there's fire, the Canadian wildfires have brought the smoke and TaylorMade has brought the fire today with the P790 irons. My name is Michael Geiger. I'm here with Thomas Campbell from Second Swing and we are breaking these, this new offering from TaylorMade down. Thomas, these are some exciting new, this is an exciting new offering into the player's distance category. What are kind of your first thoughts when you look at these irons? Yeah, I mean, going back to the last two generations, P790, they have killed it in the fitting bay. Whenever, whenever I've done initial testing as well and club comparisons, they've been right up there. They've been packing a punch with regards to being a hollow body construction iron. This is player's iron. It basically sums it up right away. So I expect big things from the new, the new, new iron. I actually really like the look of it. It looks very, very compact, very square looking, very, very clean. Yeah. Well, let's just break down the, the specs right away. Uh, when we're talking about the, the spec, the, the normal stock shafts, we have uh, a graphite and a steel offering from True Temper and uh, Mitsubishi. Could you break down kind of the, the two different, the main differences between the, uh, the, the shaft offerings? Yeah, so we have the Dynamic Gold 105 VSS Pro. So that is available in the Stiff Golf Shaft S300. There's also going to be an X100 in that same category for the 105. For the lighter golf shaft, and the R300 is going to be the VSS Pro in 95 grams. So that's the steel golf shaft. In the graphite golf shaft, we're going to have the Mitsubishi Chemical MMT. That's going to be a lighter weight graphite golf shaft. I believe it's like 65 grams in regular, 55 grams in senior, and then a little bit heavier in that, in that stiff golf shaft. Okay. Well, now let's pop open the hood and really see what's kind of the technology in this iron head. First off, we have the Speed Foam Air. Now, the Speed Foam, as you might know, is the material kind of filling in the hollow body that really provides a lot of the power. It's 69% lighter this year, which allows them to redistribute weight all around the face, help add forgiveness to this club. There's also the, the L-forged face. There's the thin wall construction. Those are two features that, again, are going to kind of thin out the face, create more feel and forgiveness. And then also, there is the through-slot speed pocket. This is what you see at the bottom of the club face. And this is really going to add forgiveness and power on really those, those kind of low on the face shots. Yeah, that 69%, what does that actually mean in total weight? Well, that's actually three and a half grams lighter of speed foam that they are going to be redistributing to different areas in the club head to really increase the MOI in areas where we know we're not going to quite catch the ball perfect every single time. So it really increases your forgiveness. Okay, that's awesome. Well, now that we've broken down some of the technology, uh, I think everyone's looking forward to seeing you hit a few. Yeah, I'm excited to test it. Like I said, the P790s in the past have been great. I'm excited to see how they work out today. All right, let's do it. All right, Thomas, you got the seven iron in your hands. Today we're kind of thinking seven iron, four iron wedge. When you first look down at this club, kind of what are your, what are your first thoughts? Yeah, so I mentioned initially it looks fairly compact. For a distance player's iron, yes, there's smaller clubs out, here, out there with leather blades, but Looks very clean. I'd say, you know, very, very sharp edges with it is what I'm really noticing right off the bat. Really like the look of the, sh of the matte finish versus some irons out there that are maybe too, a little too shiny sure. and a little bit too much chrome look to them. So it looks very clean look down at it. All right, let's see you hit it. That just felt really, really solid off the face. Just jumped. Nice tight draw. Yep. So we know the loft on this seven iron is 30 and a half degrees. Yep. So it's going to go a little further than what my normal seven iron would go. It's about three and a half degrees stronger. What was the distance on that first shot? Distance on that carry 190, total 196.6. Perfect. Now I'm usually around about 178 to 180 carries. So okay. there's that three and a half degrees of loft exactly. right there. Exactly. About a club and a half stronger. Yep. And when I got a little heavy, so that'll be interesting to see the forgiveness here. I thought it was a little shorter, not too much shorter though. Yep, carry 183, so okay. you see. Lost a few yards. A little drop. It's a straight bull flat. Very straight. Tiny little drawer. 
Thomas, we know feel and sound are two huge aspects for golfers when they look at new irons. When you, you know, hit these P790s, are they typical for a player's distance iron? Kind of how, break down kind of the feel and the sound so far. Yeah, I mean, with it, it's, it's hollow body, so it's definitely a little louder than what a forged pure blade would feel like off the face. So sure. it's a little bit louder, a little bit firmer feel off the face. It's not to the point where it's super clicky, but there's definitely, you can definitely see it, it feel like it's got some power coming off the club face. Okay. And there's the thin one. So I feel like I hit three solid ones there. One little thin, one little fat. So I'm curious to see some distances on those like five shots. Well, you still topped out at 188 on that last one. Interesting, so that was, that's really forgiving there. There's that yep. through slot speed pocket. Right, so. yeah, that was definitely a little lower on the face. Okay. Yep, so I, I know actually also TaylorMade this year with this particular model, they moved their sweet spot just a little bit lower on the face and that's one thing that advancement they've done with the new 2021 P790. Yep. Yep, so maybe that's beneficial right there. There you go. Yeah. Just stay it out to the right a little bit. Not too shabby. Yep. Yeah, so I feel like one thin, four pretty solid, and one just a little bit heavy. One I got a little heavy, probably is the one that punished me the most, but at least it was nice and straight. So Thomas, looking at those six shots, we see an average carry of 187.4, a total, an average total of 194.1. So like you mentioned earlier, that decreased loft, it leads to more distance. Yeah, exactly, and also it brought the spin rate down a little bit. Uh, it's going to put the player in a more optimal window with regards to the ideal trajectory for a 7-iron. So the pitching wedge for the P790 is 45 degrees on it. So the most important for sh thing for sure when regards to getting fit for these irons, if they are a little stronger, lofter than, say, your older irons, is making sure you're good wedge gapping through a 4 to 6 degree gap. Sure. So. Same spot. You're nothing if not consistent, Thomas. Right, well, that is important when you've got your scoring clubs in your hands. So Definitely. when I'm testing the wedges with the sets, what I'm looking for is spin consistency and then also that carry distance to be fairly close as well. Providing, obviously, you swing at the same club speed every single time. Sure. Like a little smoother swing, it's right on the same, same line again, though. You could put a beach towel on those three, I think. Right. What was the, what's the average distance so far on those three shots? As of right now, your average carry is 138.1, total of 138.4, and you've hit those three numbers just about every time, so pretty yeah. consistent distance-wise. It feels pretty good off the face. I, I'm, sometimes I worry a little bit about your distance player's irons, is they gonna jump with your wedge? Definitely. Well, the spin rate is gonna be really, really low. What was the spin rate? Your average is 92.97, so okay. right around that 9,300 marker for your pitching wedge. And that last shot was about 92, 80 or something 92, like that. 92, 80, so correct. Very consistent. Very that's consistent. important. And that's a decent amount of spin for a, for a pitching wedge because I don't have the steepest attack angle and I usually don't spin the, mold, the most either. Definitely. So that's pretty good. Yeah, these feel really good. Not gonna lie, I feel like those shots were all very, very similar every single time. And I think you mentioned, I think for a lot of the better players, they might be more worried about the shorter irons for a club like this. So it's very encouraging to see a pitching wedge really deliver. I know we do get a lot of comments from our viewers about clubs. Well, how am I gonna get that club if that seven iron's going that far or that pitching wedge is going that far? Do I need five wedges in my bag? Sure. Well, these are good. These are flowing really well with regards to the set. There we go. Ready to hit the four iron? Let's hit the four iron. Well, like that first shot there, I haven't been hitting my forearm very well. Actually, it might be a little bit of a mental block with me right now, but you mentioned 216. Still, that's pretty close to what my carry distance with my forearm is. So, okay. a little bit, little bit heavy, a little bit pulley on that shot, but forgiving, which is important. Definitely. There we go. That was flushed. Thomas, it appears the mental block has been hurdled. <laughs> uh, I see nothing but clear air for you. I'm working on it. Maybe it's just one good swing away. <laughs> uh, a little thin. There's another good swing there. That one might go a little further. That was a gem. That's right on the line. Yep, carry about 218. 
Well, it's it's surprising. I thought that one might have gone a little further, but it's it's forgiving. I mean, even though it's ones that got a little thin, got a little pulley, yep. a little, little fat, they kind of the same thing every single time. These clubs are good. One creep to touch left. Just a little bit. We're getting picky now. Oh, this, we're splitting hairs. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, we're trying to find a, a nose hair on the Mona Lisa here. But uh, again, you see a carry there of 229. So yep. touch so that left. Was just but... a touch left, yep. Yep. Yeah, so in the past, I've actually played the P790 three iron as my driving iron. Okay. So this does present some confidence looking down at it. I do like the look of it. Very, very clean. Even with less loft on it, it still looks like it's going to inspire some confidence, which is really important. And it, it feels like, yeah, there's some power behind it, but it's not to the point where all of a sudden one's going to go really far and one's going to go a lot shorter. There's sure. some forgiveness with these two. That's great to hear. Yep. So these club, clubs are awesome. I'm excited that TaylorMade's continued on their line with the P790s. They look fairly similar to the, the older ones. I'd say just slight little tweaks with regards to crispness maybe mm -hmm. with regards to the edges and the lines, but they're great clubs. All right, so Thomas, breaking down these numbers with your pitching wedge, carry 138, spin rate about 9,400. With the seven iron, carry 187, spin rate 6,200. And with the four iron, we're talking to carry of about 220 with a spin rate of 3,900. How would you judge those numbers uh, relative to maybe other irons that are out there? I mean, uh, I'm, think, I'm thinking distance gapping is, is the most important thing. Okay. And these aren't far off from what my numbers are with my normal clubs. With the exception of the loft difference, there's about maybe eight or nine yards difference there. But that's because there's a three degree difference in, in loft compared to my normal seven iron. They're really good. And then they're, the spin retention, so that there is actually a decent amount of spin on these irons too. The fact that I'm spinning the ball in the 6,000 category with a 30 and a half degree seven iron, yeah. very, very good. So they do spin. The pitching wedge was spinning, what, about 9,400 RPMs? Exactly. Yep. Yeah, so that's that's a good amount of spin for a full swing with the pitching wedge. And then even with the 4-iron, the 4-iron was, what, close to about 4,000, right? Correct, 3,880. 3,800, so that's that's also a decent amount of spin. What was the height on the shots when I was hitting them? The height on your shots was 89 feet on average with the 4-iron, 107 with the 7-iron, and 103 with the pitching wedge. Okay, so that's very typical. Um, what happens when you get a longer iron, your bag doesn't have as much loft on it. It's going to fly a little bit, little bit lower. Uh, for players that have a huge separation from there, they should consider possibly like a hybrid. Okay. The nice thing is I'm still generating spins, so the ball is going to right. a chance to stop on the green. We notice with the pitching wedge and the seven iron, they're around about 100 feet, which yep. is right where you want to be. You want to have consistency with regards to that trajectory height. So they perform really well. Well, Thomas, you've had a chance to hit the P790. Now that you've, you've taken a few swings, what are kind of your thoughts on the club? Yeah, so a few more swings in. I'm trying to compare the how they, how they feel compared to other clubs. They definitely are not as clicky as I thought they might have been. They're definitely solid off the face, but a little bit softer. So they felt really, really good off the club face. And for me, I'm always excited with these because I will say if I wasn't playing like a blade as my, my irons and I needed distance player's iron, these would probably be in my bag. These over the, over the last few generations have really, really performed really well in the fitting bay and when I've done some testing with them. And the, today definitely wasn't a change at all. Okay, very high praise. Now you mentioned earlier that you use the three iron, or you have used the three iron in the past as a long iron. It's worth noting that with the TaylorMade P790s, the UDI is an option uh, in the long iron. What, do you, what are your thoughts on the TaylorMade P790 UDI? Yeah, the UDI is great. It's great for those players that you know, have got a lot of speed, they, uh, they maybe have a little hard time with hitting a hybrid. They might be a little, some shots a little bit left. So with the UDI, the nice thing is, and this one's got the graphite golf shaft in it that has this RDX smoke, is you can get it in graphite, but you also can get it in a steel golf shaft. So a graphite shaft would fly a little bit higher and spin a little more. Steel golf shaft may fly a little bit lower, spin a little less, just depending on what the player's trying to achieve out of that club. It's a great club to hit off the ground. Whether you're trying to stop the ball on the green, you can still hit it fairly high, but especially off the tee. If yep. you want to hit something out, and for me, the reason I, I was using it is 250, 260 off the tee, and it would just knew it was going to go straight every single time. So really good clubs. Great to hear. Yep. Now, to really put a bow on the whole P790 discussion, what everyone wants to know is, who is this iron for? When you look at these P790s, who is it for? 
Yeah, it's, so it's definitely for the player that's looking to get a little extra distance. Uh, it's, as I mentioned, it's not like a pure blade, but it's also not a pure game improvement iron either. It kind of fits right in the middle. So I would say it's for those golfers, especially looking to pick up a little bit of distance. I mentioned get more in that optimal window. So an optimal window with regards to height and spin. So if a player, for example, spins the ball too high or maybe just doesn't hit the ball as far as they want to, definitely a great club for that person. And that could be a player all the way down to almost a scratch golfer okay. or all the way up to maybe a 15 handicap golfer, essentially. I hate to categorize based on handicap, but because especially you know, your short game could be really strong or your long game could be really strong. Iron play could also be really strong, but I could play these for sure, especially after seeing the numbers today, especially seeing that consistency. And that's the most important thing is that we're given today. Very consistent spin, distance, and carry numbers. Great to hear. Well, Thomas, thank you for your thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, the TaylorMade P790 irons. Please, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you for watching.